Hey guys, come on downstairs. Today we're playing Edmonton Oilers franchise on NHL 17. This is episode number 50. We're in year two and we are at December 10th. We're going to do a couple of weeks worth of games here. We've got the Toronto Maple Leafs, the New Jersey Devils, and then the second week at the Flames, at the Canucks, and at home against the Anaheim Ducks. So game number 31 of the season, we come in at 11, 14, and 5 facing the Maple Leafs. We pick things up here in the third period. 13.56 to go. Here is Beck. Beck to Boyle, and Boyle's one-timer is saved there by Freddie Anderson. Nice save there by Anderson. Re uh, Maple Leafs have it. Komarov shot from the slot. Right in front of the net is saved by Cam Talbot. We are at the five-minute mark left in the third quarter, or third period. Sorry, I just did basketball. Third period. Here is Marner. Marner! Pass across the crease, and the shot is saved. It was a five-on-three power play for the Maple Leafs. Talbot gets the save, and the Oilers are able to kill that five-on-three penalty situation off. Here is Pouliot now. Pouliot back to the point. It's Clefbaum. Clefbaum skates into the slot. His shot is saved by Anderson. And picked up on the right wing. Shot by Patrick Maroon is saved. The Maple Leafs hold on to win game number 31, one to nothing. Freddie Anderson, 31 saves in the shutout. Cam Talbot goes for 32 saves and one goal against. Uh, Leipzig, Leipzig had one goal for the Maple Leafs. 33 shots to 31 in favor of Toronto. Uh, 0 of 3 on the power play for them. We were 0 of 1. We won 41 faceoffs to 27. All right, second game this week, game number 32 at home against the New Jersey Devils, who are 13-8-6. Again, we pick this one up in the third period with a 2 to nothing lead on the left wing. The pass is taken away. This is Taylor Hall, and he's got a breakaway. Taylor Hall, shot, glove saved by Talbot. Hall really didn't turn on the burners there very well as he was almost caught. But Talbot with a nice glove save. Here come the Devils again. Shot saved by Talbot. He's going to get it out. It's up along the boards. Jordan Eberle is going to beat everybody down the ice. Eberle shot, saved, and then uh, batted around by the New Jersey goaltender. And then the uh, Oilers turn it over. Here come the Devils. Two on one. Devils pulling their goalie with 45 seconds. Shot deflected away by Talbot. Shot by Palmieri is off the post. 32 seconds. We've got an empty net now for New Jersey. And New Jersey's going to score. The pressure was too much. That is Devontae smith Pelly, his third goal of the season. And that cuts the lead to one with eight seconds. Can the Devils pull off an improbable comeback and tie this game up four seconds into the slot? Centering pass saved one second, and it is knocked away. The buzzer sounds, and the Oilers get the victory. Two to one. Cam Talbot, 30 saves. Uh, Lucic, one goal and assist. Patrick Maroon with one goal for the Oilers. 0 of 3 on power plays for the Devils. 0 of 2 for the Oilers. 31 shots to 25 in favor of New Jersey. And uh, 41 face-offs to 28 in favor of the Devils as well. All right, let's take a quick look, peek back at the schedule. Uh, the two games that we played this week, the Maple Leafs and the Devils, we're on to the next week, December 17th through the 23rd. We've got the Flames, Canucks, and the Ducks. Starting off with game number 33 in the Calgary Flames from uh, the Saddle Dome in Calgary, Alberta. I think it's still called the Saddle Dome. Brian Elliott starting in net for the Calgary Flames. He's 8-9-1, a 0.916 save percentage, and one shutout on the year. Cam Talbot goes for us, a 5-6-3 record. 2.61 goals against average, and two shutouts on the year for Cam Talbot. We've got some first period highlights now. 10-14 to go, midway through the first. No score yet. Patrick Maroon carries it into the zone. Maroon back across to Puglia. His shot is saved by Elliott. And he will stop the puck. 9.55 to go. Now to the 4.45 mark. Oilers on a power play. Patrick Maroon shot through traffic is stopped. Nugent Hopkins has it now. Nugent Hopkins backhands a pass across the crease. 
And Elliott comes out and dives for it, leaving his net wide open, but the Oilers can't capitalize. 2.40 would go in the first period. Dreisaitl carries it into the zone. Back Teams back to even strength at 2.28. Dreisaitl shot through traffic, blocked by Froelich. And here come the Calgary Flames. Froelich carries it all the way through the neutral zone. He's going to go all the way as the Oilers defenseman was giving him that right side and taking away the pass. On that two-on-one, nice defensive play by the Oilers. At the end of one, we have no score. We go to the second period now here in Calgary. And we're going to start things off here at the seven-minute mark with a two-minute power play against the Oilers and Brian Boyle. Calgary power play. Oilers get a shot off on it, shorthanded. Froelich has it. He outlets it to the right wing. Here comes the Flames into the zone. I think this is uh, Monaghan. And a cross-crease pass. And the Flames score the first goal of the game with 11.53 to go in the second. This is Sam Bennett, his sixth goal of the season. And it comes on the power play. And we've got another penalty. This time it is on the Flames. Uh, Poirier on the penalty. Here come the Oilers with the breakout. McDavid. To Nurse. Nurse gets it back to McDavid. McDavid's going to carry it into the zone. McDavid working one on one. Beautiful move, and he scores. Connor McDavid. Seventh goal of the year for Connor McDavid. This is a power play goal and an absolutely beautiful move. Right here, is it looks like he's going to take it inside. And then he moves back to the outside and beats Elliott on the stick side. And at the end of the second period, we are all tied up at one here in Calgary. Sorry about my slow start. It's a little hard to transition from basketball into hockey and uh, have it go smoothly. So I was doing a basketball video just before this. So I think I've got my hockey, uh, hockey voice on now. <laughs> As the Oilers, nice play down deep in the zone. Here is Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl carries it in between the hash marks. Shot saved. A rebound is saved. Oilers still have it. Shot by, uh, man, I can't remember who that was. Stahlberg. Stahlberg takes the shot, and it is saved. 12.50 to go in the third period. Pollock sends it around. Sekera pass back to uh, Chasen, and Chasen scores. Beautiful pass to the front of the net, and Chasen's able to send it five hole, I believe. Sixth goal of the year for Alex Chasen. And the Oilers take a 2-1 lead. Connor McDavid now carries it into the zone. Connor McDavid on the left wing. McDavid circles behind the net. Still holding. He heads into the right corner. McDavid still holding the puck. Skating circles around the Calgary defense. Back to Everly behind the net. They cycle it. McDavid on the other side of the crease with the one-timer. And it gets past Elliott. Second goal tonight by Connor McDavid. One more for a hat trick for McDavid. Here's the shot and the hat trick right away. Connor McDavid with the hat trick. Four to one Oilers. Third goal tonight for McDavid as he quickly, with the traffic in front of Elliott, a quick wrister on the right side. Four to one. Power play for the Flames now. Backland. Backland on the right wing into the middle, and the shot is saved by Talbot and the Oilers will clear one minute left on an Oilers power play now as the game is coming to a close with 11 seconds here is Nugent Hopkins Ryan Nugent Hopkins circles the net to Patrick Maroon who has a wide open net and he buries it and that is going to be icing on the cake Patrick Maroon seventh goal of the year power play goal to boot the Oilers go two for three on power plays. The Flames go one for three. We get the five to one victory. Connor McDavid with the hat trick, three goals. Cam Talbot, 23 saves. Sam Bennett, one goal for the Flames. Uh, 24 shots apiece in this game. And uh, 19 faceoffs to 18 in our favor. So we get the big win on the road against our uh, provincial rival. Next up, game number 34 at the Vancouver Canucks. We'll pick this one up in the third period. 9.27 to go. Two to nothing. Oilers with the lead. Pouliot down the right wing. Gets it to Nugent Hopkins in the middle. Nugent Hopkins.
Back to Pouliot. Pouliot shot from the slot is saved. It goes to the corner where Nugent Hopkins is. He gets it back to Pouliot again, and it's saved. This time Pouliot picks it up, and he slings one in, and it does not get to the net. 154 to go here in the third. Here is Erickson. Erickson, nice move. Shot saved by Talbot. And here come the Oilers. No, it's kept in by Sedin. Sedin has it behind the net. Sedin will send it back around. Daniel Sedin has it now on the right wing. Daniel Sedin to his brother. And Henrik Sedin's shot goes high over the top of the net. And time expires. The Oilers win 3 to nothing. And Brossois gets the shutout. Sorry, I think I said Cam Talbot. It was Brossois in net for the Oilers. 26 saves for him. Ryan, Ju uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. My goodness. Two goals, one hit. Ryan Miller, 27 saves for the Canucks in a rematch of last year's playoffs. We win three to nothing. The Canucks beat us last year in six games in the opening round of the playoffs. Game number 35, the Anaheim Ducks and the Edmonton Oilers from Edmonton. Here come the Oilers. Patrick Maroon on the right wing. He's going to uh, fire one in, hoping to get a rebound. And it's picked up there by Edmonton. Back out to Nurse. Nurse shot from the point, and it is deflected in by Pouliot. Nice deflection, and that cuts the Ducks' lead down to 2-1. to 4.29 to go in the period. Offensive zone faceoff for the Oilers. It is won by the Ducks. Here's Perry. Perry carries it into the zone to the middle. Getzloff shot. Saved by Talbot with 4.06 to go. So the Ducks get the win, 2-1. to one. Bernier, 25 saves. Cam Talbot had 25 saves as well. And Pouliot with one goal for us. Interesting note, the Anaheim Ducks have uh, Brad Marchand now as they acquired him in a trade from the Boston Bruins. So 27 shots for the Ducks, 26 for us in the game. We fall 2-1 to one at home against our division rival. Quick look at the Pacific Division standings now. The Sharks are still in first at 45 points. The Kings in second with 42 points. The Ducks are in third at 39. And the Canucks with 36 points are fourth. And they would hold down a wild card spot. The Flames with 35 points. We sit in sixth at 33 points. Three points out of a playoff position. And the Arizona Coyotes behind us by four points. Quick look at the Central Division standings now. The Blackhawks with 51 points. The Nashville Predators with 46, the Wild with 39, the Avs with 38. So 36 points is where the playoff cutoff is now, and that's held by the Vancouver Canucks. So the two wildcard teams would be the Canucks and the Avalanche if the playoff started today, and we are only three points out of a playoff spot. So we are in the mix here on Edmonton Oilers franchise here on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.